All right, anyone else trying to be wax vaxxed and outside? I know I am, and that's why I am partnering with Skillshare. Um, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creatives to deepen and explore their creativity. I recently started a class entitled uh, how to approach hotels for a free stay as a blogger as you guys know the bald and the beautiful is trying to be outside honey we trying to travel and as much as possible we don't want to pay for it so i appreciate skillshare for dropping the knowledge but they have tons of classes um, that you could be interested in no matter where you are in your creative journey they are a platform that it has zero ads premium classes and for less than ten dollars per month with an annual subscription you will have access to all of their premium content please be part of the first 1000 people to click the link in my description box for to get a free premium membership trial again click the link in my description box and you will be part of the first 1000 people to get a free premium membership thanks so much to skillshare for sponsoring today's video and now let's get straight to it I was born, yeah, I was made for this To be a legend, to be glorious Refined by fire, you'll soon be seeing sparks of gold Sparks of gold So how you like it, what you think of me No, I won't stop till I make history One for the ages, soon it will be Pitched in stone Pitched in stone Got the green light No more red lights Got the green light Are you ready for you this? Ready? Got the green light There's no red light Got the green light I'm ready to go
shall receive. Testing, testing. Oh, we on, on. Uh, can I have everyone please take your seats? Listen, that's real. Yes. Have a word from our visiting pastor. A selection from the choir. Huh? Yes. Give an honor to God who's ahead of my life. Pastor and first lady. Saints and friends. We thank you so much for the gathering and the fellowship of friends and family on today. We're so grateful that we are in the land of the living. We could have been dead and gone, sleeping in our grave. But God said otherwise. And so we are here today. I'm just playing. There's a whole voice behind that. Uh, in real life, thank you guys so very much for coming out today to celebrate in all of the extraness that is me and all of the extraness that is Bree, um, to celebrate Kevin on his uh, initial inaugural um, nomination for the NAACP Image Award. <laughs> And I would be remiss without honoring Miss Tabitha Brown. Also, shut up, Tony Vega. <laughs> um, also a nominee, and we're so grateful that she was able to join us on today. Listen, I'm just churchy. It's just going to come out. Um, it is just going to come out. But in real life, I really do want to thank each and every one of you guys. Uh, I say this story all the time because it always means just as much. To have moved here quite literally eight years ago. Uh, on the first of this month, actually, and to have um, come as far as we have in those eight years and to be in this moment is really, you have to say, you know, thank you, God, first of all. Um, but in addition to have met friends that you consider family along the way is something that's extremely awesome and rare. So to each of you being here, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, of course. All right. Um, so what we want to do, uh, we do have like a slight little bitty program because uh, that's what we do when we black. But what we want to do first is uh, do a toast. So if you wouldn't mind, grab your uh, champlain glasses. The black one, the black one, Farron, the black one. Yes. Yes. Shout. Listen, this is what's so funny, is that I literally feel like I'm in a room in Black Excellence plus Tony and Joshua. <laughs> uh huh. I said I literally feel like I'm in a room full of Black Excellence plus Tony and Joshua. Um, but y'all act like y'all ain't been nowhere. You mean tell me some champagne in here? Yes, girl. Oh, and Cotty. Uh, yes, girl, some whole champagne. So please raise your glasses. And say to the bride and the groom, no. Oh, y'all really said it? Okay. Uh, oh, she told me to stand behind here. Hold on. Okay, so we really quickly want to say um, to Kevin, to Tabitha, congratulations. You may drink. I don't know what you say after that. Top. Cheers. Correct. Cheers. So I got fired a couple weeks ago and it was really bad. Turns out women don't like so much when uh, the man of the family gets fired. They don't really take too kindly to that. I was, like, I was like, yeah, I ain't gonna fire me. She ain't, ain't need me, they ain't need me. And then they fired me. I was like, well, they, they, they don't need me. Okay, let's go and tell the people. Ready? Say it loud. Come. Come on. Walk. Walk. It's this episode of Bassinets. It's not Cribs because we're not there yet. We're just doing Bassinets. Say hi, Zay. Zay. Hi. Say what it do. All right, we're going to go into the crib right now. You know what I'm saying? All over here. It's just beautiful houses on this side. You know, this is how we live in. Bassinets. Come inside. You got some McDonald's money? You sick? Go take a nap. What you gonna do is eat this food and go to bed. If you don't eat it, you gonna go to bed hungry. I told you to get yourself in that tub!
something tropical, straws on the back. But don't forget to use it. I got a pouch in my pocket, boxes in the trunk. We drink a free sun with every single lunch. seen this comedian's response it got over 11 million views watch some recipes are not supposed to be altered okay food network this show is called the kitchen and they doggone ruin macaroni and cheese i don't even want to open my eyes i don't want to see the video no more because i'm getting upset i'm getting hot thanksgiving is day and a half we're on thanksgiving eve eve and y'all messing up macaroni and cheese first of all she put gruyere in the macaroni and cheese gruyere. And I thought, okay, you know what? Maybe you switch the cheeses, I ain't tripping. But then, but then, she just, I mean, desecrated the mac with Brussels sprouts, cabbage, carrots. What is you doing? This ain't a casserole. This is a staple for Thanksgiving that don't need to be altered at all. Barack and Michelle are out here touring the world. Last week he had his toes out and Michelle had all thigh meat out. I mean, let me get an eight piece, all thighs. No cares in the world, these are my thighs. She had her thighs out like she was apostolic her whole life, wore jean skirts to the floor, and now she's non-denominational thighs out. Let me let you know that I got full legs, chocolate, and they're thick. Okay, and it was cool, enjoy yourself. Now he out here kite surfing, and I'm feeling like a jealous ass. Did you ever even love us, Barack? Did you ever even love us? Why are you that happy? You that happy now that you ain't gotta be in America no more? We had eight years together. Now you just on Instagram with happiness and kite surfing? He happy like he got to claim a kid that he didn't have only for two weeks on the whole income tag. Let me get the whole year and they let him have it. He happy like child support was revoked. He, he too happy. Why are you that happy? I'm gone. Y'all don't think I was born here? Then I'm gonna be traveling the world anyway. Don't ask me nothing. I took what I call a calculated risk to do this tour. I had money saved. I've been saving what I've been making on the road. But had this failed, it would have been a financial disaster. Boys, I'm leaving. Come and show me love. Ah! I'll see you at your game tomorrow. So when's it coming? It'll be tomorrow. This is the worst part, Josh. Coming outside. I love my wife, man. I've been married for 14 years. Yes. Yes. Hello. Hello. Is to hear more available? This is he. Okay. Is he still out of shape? Just want to make sure I have the right one. Give me my all-star special and my hash browns captain cover. Waffle House have a dirty cup. You send it back, they'll bring you a dirtier cup. We know it's dirty. Mind your business, Atlanta Journal Constitution. We know what it is. You want clean silverware? Go to IHOP or Denny's. You want something for $5, go to Waffle House. That's why we come there. We know it, it's dirty, so. Weekly live stream stand-up show, Keep Your Distance, features an array of hilarious comics and even a small socially distanced live audience. And <laughs> oh. are now the owners of this soundstage. Ladies and gentlemen, look at the back. Look at the space we have. Listen, wave your hands. Brendan, just, just show what God is doing right now. Listen. Pumpkin pie, an acceptable dessert to be brought to the cookout. Not really my cookout. No, your swinging days are over, right, man? Watch out. Oh, Kirk Patrick. Well, well, well. Time to give you the tour of the Maserati. Two times to start from the outside. I'm gonna allow you to come up, but as we're co as you're coming up, I just want to say that it's about I'm folding. It's currently happening. Um, I am so proud of you. <laughs> when 
I, looking back on this, and there was very specific videos, and I'm usually not one with a lot of notes, but uh, Brennan sent me this video and I said, sir, now I'm gonna need you to add this Nahu up in here. I'm gonna need you to add this one, I'm gonna need you to add this one, I'm gonna need you to add this one. Um, and, the, and you did it, I appreciate you. Um, and the reason why is because there are pivotal moments in your career. Being fired is actually the start of your career. And when I look back on it as um, scary as that time was, knowing that there were bills that are still due every single month and your income is literally cut in half, when I look back on it, I know it was God's hand. Yeah. And the move from Washington to here, another super pivotal moment in your career. And I always think back of a pose that I did and Scandal was really popular. And she was talking about, she was cheating on a, uh, he was cheating, but the message still applies. Uh, but he was talking about, I would, or um, whatever the girl's name, Olivia Pope was saying, I would follow my man over a cliff. And when I think back on March 1st, 2013, I was willing to follow you over a cliff. Yeah, this is the last. Eight, eight years later, to watch this video and to see where you started, where there was a mockumentary of cribs and you called it bassinets because we were living in a little two bedroom, <laughs> a little two bedroom house that was little to nothing. And to see where we are to today, I'm so proud and I wear the badge of Miss Kev on stage so proudly. Uh, I wear M Melissa Fredericks, your last name, so proudly. And I'm so grateful that you allow me to wear it without shame. So congratulations to you. Come on up. Amen, amen, amen. The hour is far spent, amen. We are so grateful, amen, that you are here. I, 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 I am so happy. Uh, you know, Melissa is just, <sighs> man. Whew. Let it go, bro. Let it go, bro. You got this. She is. She is everything, man. I mean, this, this like dream, she has been so instrumental. I mean, she literally, before even get on stage, she, she was the first sacrifice. She worked when I got fired. She like built my confidence back up. She was the first investor. She, she kept that real job. She let me go out and, and, and do stand-up every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I was doing five, six shows a week, and she was the first sacrifice. She took care of the boys so we could do plays. She literally did everything. This, this is her idea. I wouldn't even have, I would have been at home playing FIFA in my drawers <laughs> if, if she didn't plan this. And what makes all this worth it? I'm, I'm happy to be nominated for the award and, and tab too, but if I don't win, like, it doesn't really matter. And I mean that. Like, this is my win. Like, being here with my friends. <laughs> my friends and family, man, you know. <laughs> To, to be in this city, which can be like so cutthroat and so business and all that stuff, but to have gen like this many genuine friends in LA, like some, you know, Mel and Greg, I've known Mel since she was 12 years old. And, and you know, Brendan and Tony and Maya, I've known them for like less than a year. But all, you know, everybody, Tab, all, every single person here means so much to me. And it's like, I, I I don't have to win the award because the the journey is the award, the friendships, the family. Like this red carpet, I was like, dang, this is crazy. Like last year, I was I was working the red carpet luncheon uh, in NAACP Image Awards. Like literally interviewing the nominees and happy to be there. Like I wasn't even tripping. I was like, this is crazy. I get to meet these people. This is wild. 
And and now being here and just enjoying this on a random Tuesday, I, I remember when I was at Boeing and I was just like, man, I felt every second of every minute of every hour of every day of every week of every month. And it was like, man, I cannot do this. I can't. This cannot be it for me. Like, I feel like Kanye, like, dang, these niggas really that much better than me? Like, I really was like, that's it's impossible. It is impossible that they're killing me. Like, if they're killing me, they're killing me. But they're not killing me. And, like, you work so hard, and I've really been working to, like, enjoy moments. And I really watch these videos, and I'm like, dang, we really been going after this for a long time. And to be even, like, recognized and acknowledged and to have this many people who are willing to come and get dressed up and wear hard bottoms, most of us, Tony, <laughs> Tony wouldn't wear the hard bottoms, man. He just wouldn't wear the hard bottoms. <laughs> Everybody, nah, Josh had a shirt and tie. Josh is good. His was a cosmetic, Josh was a cosmetic choice. You were a rebel. You were in jeans, Tone. Okay, they're slacks, they're slacks. You know. <laughs> But seriously, like, I, when I saw the bill for this, I was like, girl, is you crazy? It's Tuesday. But, like, I, <laughs> I really, truly, it's just, it's Tuesday, man. Like, we got to go back and shoot tomorrow. I'm going to be in here tomorrow. Ain't none of this stuff going to be up. But I really thank you, Melissa, so much, man. I, I feel like, you know, one thing that helps me to, to, to do this is knowing that I have somebody next to me that wouldn't care if I didn't have this. If I just worked at Jamba Juice and Mel and Greg, you know, they, they came here mostly because we were like, they, she had a good job in Netflix, God bless them. But we were pushing hard, you know, like, please move here, make it friendship. And I, we were standing outside the red carpet. I was like, yo, these are my friends. Like, I, I didn't come here with, it was literally me, Melissa, Zay, Zay, and JoJo. And no, we left all our friends, all our family, and we didn't know that we would ever have friends, you know, and we have so many great friends. Danny has been such a great friend to Melissa. She done pulled her out of her, you know, regular stuff. She got her twerking and stuff. And I say, God bless it. God bless it. I love, you know, Danny, listen, Danny, all right with me. <laughs> Danny Rose, all right with me. You know, but like me, Tony to here, man, Tony to here. I remember when we, I'm, I'm going to talk for as long as I want to. <laughs> Tony, Tony and Tahir, <laughs> we went on that tour, and I remember asking them, like, is y'all okay if we perform in, like, a hotel? And they would be like, we don't care. Is y'all okay to share a room? Because we ain't have your own room money. Tony and Tahir were like, bro, we don't care. You don't have to pay us crazy. We are just happy to be here. And we traveled the world together. Man, we had some terribly awful shows. <laughs> I'm talking about... Philadelphia specifically, when they was like, ain't no chairs. Y'all, if you want the show, y'all put the chairs up. We were like, but it's in the contract. She was like, I don't like this job. I don't care if they fire me. If you want chairs, and Tony and Tahir, we doggone put these chairs up, perform. Tony didn't even have no voice that show. He put them chairs up, performed, and after that, we took the chairs back down. And I was like, yo, these people really are like down to be at the gutter. We performed in a high school in 2019 with no lights. Like Josh climbed through the window and doggone set the sound up. Now I've known Josh since he was 20 years old. He turned 28 this year and he loves black women so much. <laughs> and I'm so happy that he would make sweet love to a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm really grateful. And even Angel and Marcus, like, Angel was a friend, like, kind of distant. And over the last year, they have become close friends. They, Angel came and, like, when I was going through, like, a tough time, it was, it was, I was like, nigga, God, are you serious? I know you're supposed to do as much as you can bear, but clearly you believe in me more than I believe in myself. And Angel came and doggone carried the weight of a, of a big show for me. And she is just like, whatever you want, Kev. Tank is, is you know, been just a great friend. I mean, I don't want to say everybody individually, but like, I, I don't, for me, it don't have to get no better than this. Like, it's not about money for me. It's never been about money 
for me, it's about having great experiences with people I love. And I will never, ever, 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 ever experience. I mean, never forget this. And Bree, doggone, turn this sound. This sound stage is just a gray box. And when I came in, it was like amazing. And to Brent and Tony, like, y'all have been tremendous, man. Yeah. <laughs> just tremendous man like whatever <laughs> whatever ideas I have Tab had this brilliant idea to do a debate and I told Brennan and Tony and and, and, they, and that was it and the next time I came in here they had the cameras in the the, the the backdrop and I was like man it's it's amazing and the shows the app that we've created and you know, like Amani, like y'all just work. Y'all don't nobody nobody is like caring. Everybody is just willing to like do it. Everybody's just like, yo, we getting it. God dang. <laughs> dang, I'm out here bad, man. My nose is snotty. <laughs> Not the snotty nose, man. I'm a killer. I'm a thug. I kill people. I have a, I have a knife in my purse. I got all kinds of stuff. <laughs> but like y'all have changed, changed my life, man. And even my cousin, like she came here and just moved here to work with us. Like, okay, I'll do that. And she ain't never known nothing about assistant, but she'd be willing to work and, and just do whatever. And it's just, man, everybody here. If I didn't mention you, I, I still love you. I just, I'm looking around trying to think of stuff. But I really like, I really am so happy, man. Bree, enough out of you. <laughs> and even Bree, man, she set this up. She did my last party with Melissa. And just like, man, these are just great. Like, I really am so happy that we've done this. And, and again, thank you all for being here. And Patreon, who was watching this live, are they still there, Josh? The Patreon, man, you guys were the god dang. <laughs> <laughs> man, I just, I'm down bad today. I'm feeling, I feel it. Man, Patreon is, 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 is just people who have known me for a long time. Back when I was doing videos in my car and they donate, you know, anywhere from five or three to $25 or $50 a month or whatever. But to me, it's more important than that. They are the first investors in the studio. Like before, the reason I was able to even put this money up is because for a year, like I told them a year what I wanted to do, and they donated for a year. When Angel came, the, the, the donations jumped up, and I said, guys, I'm going to take this money. I'm going to be able to make movies and stuff. Well, Angel, you, don't, you pay for yourself. Amen. You don't, amen. God has been good. <laughs> but people and like bro during a pandemic i was like man this patreon finna go down like and i get it like i'm not tripping people got kids and five dollars a month is sixty dollars <laughs> sixty sixty dollars i ain't gotta know man but they i was like they're not gonna like this thing they just in the back and stuff and they was just hanging out and really like there was a first investor in there and they've allowed me to not have to take outside money like, and that's allowed us to grow at our own pace and make the stuff we want to make and invest in, you know, black women and make the shows we want to make and, and even keep your distance. We use Patreon money to, to fly comedians in and all that type of stuff. And we be operating. I mean, you know, Tony and Brendan know we don't be making crazy money, but what we want to do is impact our community more than to get rich. Even if we don't make a lot of money for those comedians who are able to come and, and have their first big show in LA and have that set that looks amazing. Like that's because of Patreon and transit and, and just like people believing in what you want to do. So I'm forever grateful, forever grateful that, that we, that together we kind of control our own narrative. Nobody has to say, this is what you go and do. You have to take this deal. Like and this part might not air, but I remember, um, don't put this on the gram. This is inside information. We was working with a company and they was like, you go and sign this first look deal and you can't post it and you can't do this. And then I said, well, listen, listen, guys, I'm just not going to do that. And they was like, what do you mean? I was like, I don't have, I'm not going to do that. Like, we're going to do this this way 
or we're not gonna do it. And they were like, you, what you talking about? I was like, no, what you talking about? Like, I'm not gonna do that. And that's because of Patreon and support. Like, I don't have to take everything. I don't have to just take what you want. Like, I'm cool just, if I don't have nothing else but my Patreon and these podcasts, I'm good. Like, everything else is cake. You don't have to do that all the time. So anyway, you know, I, 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 I was going to try to be funny through this, but I'd rather just express my true emotions. And y'all, everybody here means so much to me. Even like Alonzo, man. Alonzo is a world-class sculptor. And he doggone did the music, original music for the challenge show at a reduced rate, way reduced. And like people don't even realize how much that impact that is. And Angel Tony to here, man, we just be going through hell on them shoot days. It don't be... Nobody be coming to save us. It just be like, me again, there's no break. You know, that name, background interview, we can't even leave on that. I'd be tired, my balls be sweating, my balls was hot. But man, everybody, y'all, y'all all mean so much to me individually, so much, and I, I, I would not want to do this with any better group of people. I, I swear I don't have to meet nobody new in LA. If y'all stick with me and nobody gets canceled and goes against the LGBT community, <laughs> if y'all stick around, <laughs> just don't they say nothing to them. Leave them alone. Just don't say nothing, because I'm going to throw you under the bus. If y'all say it, I never knew them. I don't know why. I never stood with them. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm standing with the LGBT. I'm, uh, y'all gone. But, no, nah, man. Oh, Jason. God. <laughs> What are you trying to do? Jason was in all My brother. Oh my yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> when my brother took over managing me, I was making. <laughs> I was making $500 a show. Literally, this was maybe four years ago. And he said, y'all gonna pay my brother what he's worth. And uh, but let me tell you what, if you offer me $500, <laughs> oh, if you offer me five, and I'm talking about for an hour of stand-up comedy, I was happily taking $500. And he was like, I will take zero before I let you take under what you're worth. And I don't want to share the number with y'all because, you know, <laughs> but just like for, for, for somebody, and we don't even have the same dad. I can't imagine if we had both parents the same. <laughs> but just with the same mom, what we've been able to do with the same mom. Uh, <laughs> He has been so instrumental to everything, and he's believed in, in me, and he has, he has sacrificed his you know, own stuff for me. And he's, you know, him and Melissa both inceptioned me. They work together to get me. They know me better. Josh, too. Everybody works against me. But my brother really was the first person that was like, you need to shut up and, and get what you're worth. And until you see your worth, I'm going to fight for you. And that 500 became 1,000, became you know, what God has blessed us with now. And, uh, <laughs> uh, and I just am so grateful for everybody, man. I love you all, um, Melissa the most. Um, my kids, even though they're not here, like they're like, even the fact that me and Jojo get a podcast and we shoot it here and he was like, I don't even tell you this, Brendan and Tony, I was tired as crap on Sunday. And I was like, you wanna shoot this at home or at the sound stage? She was like, we gonna go to the sound stage. <laughs> And the fact that my son probably will never have to work a regular job. He can just do his own podcast. He's skilled, naturally a doggone podcaster. And my older son can shoot and direct. And he always asking me and Melissa for different effects packages and stuff. And they have been able to be like, I don't have to do nothing more than what I want to do. And that to me is the greatest gift you can give your children, the ability to do what they want and the resources to do what they want. And all they see is people around them doing what they want to do. People, everybody around them owns their own business, does what they want to do. So the, they never going to be like, let me just go punch a clock. Why would I? My whole family, all my family and friends does whatever they want to do for a living. And that to me is the greatest thing. And even Angel and Marcus, man, when they bring over their kids and the kids be bleeding and stuff at the house. <laughs> 
breaking stuff, and it's the, it reminds me so much of home. Kids crying and eating snacks, it reminds me so much of home. Like, if nobody bleeding and crying, then are you really living? <laughs> so again, thank y'all again, everybody, individually, Patreon, all the people here, even the cameramen and sound people and everybody and whoever made the cakes and the sign and all that. I really love y'all. Oh, man, I, I will never, ever forget this moment. Melissa, you are the most amazing thing ever. Yeah. You know... And I did not cry. Don't post any of this on Instagram. God bless you. Let's eat steak and drink. Hey, Kev, this is your grandma, your nana, your mom, whatever, and your auntie Ann. She's doing the filming. And we just want to say congratulations on your being nominated for the NAACP Image Award. Love you, guy. Hey, Kevin. Just want to say congrats on your NAACP nomination. I'm so happy for you. So proud of you. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. What's up, Kev, man? Listen, it's me, Cletus. Just want to congratulate you on your NAACP image award nomination man and I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and claim the victory right now i mean if listen if tabitha brown can't conquer meat uh then she can't conquer you and as a man who grew up without a father um i just want to thank you for being the image of a man that i need and now my official father figure so man we appreciate you man we're proud of you go out there win the award bring it home for us tucson arizona all right i'm out this is crazy. You are nominated for an NAACP Image Award? Like, you went from doing stage plays to getting fired from that bank. Now you are a mogul, a social media mogul, and a mogul, period. I'm so proud of you. I love you so much. I wish nothing but the best for you. Peace. Hello, my nephew, Kevin. I want to say... Uh, congratulations, and I am so proud of you, and I am so glad that you are part of my life, and may God bless you and continue in your journey. Love you. Big NAACP Kev, congratulations. Congratulations. We are so proud of you. We're looking forward to seeing all the great things you're doing and you're paving the way. Yes, he is. Okay. Yes. All right. Now, just keep going, bro. Congratulations. Make us look good. Make sure you <laughs> lotion up. Don't be ashy. Represent us well, bro. Peace. This goes out to my very own brother, Kevin, on stage. If Leola Lewis was here, she would say Calvin on stage. Man, just so proud of you, man. NAACP, all the way from 813 Destello in El Paso, Texas. 813 Destello, very significant place where we were born and raised in a duplex. Nine people in a three-bedroom, one bath. Uh, we only had a living room and a kitchen and a dog. And that place is where we were created. You were created. And... The, the funniness, I mean, and you got all your jokes from your family and just knew how to create your wit, your timing and everything. And you took 813 Destello all the way up to an NAACP nomination. And I just want to tell you that I'm proud of you. Love you, Kev. Yo, NAACP Kev, congratulations. <laughs> we are so proud of you man you're killing it you are just representing us so well yes congratulations thank you so much for all your hard work doing everything you do we appreciate you and make sure you make us look good make sure you keep putting on lotion don't be ashy <laughs> out there you know what i'm saying we'll see you soon bro congrats congratulations hey kev just wanted to pause and wish you congratulations on your nomination but you know me i'm cooking so we'll talk later bye now What's up, Kev? You see me representing with the stage crew windbreaker. Um, just want to congratulate you on your NAACP nomination. And I'm super dedicated to making sure that you win. So much so 
that I've turned off my Tabitha Brown notifications because it's like when I look into her eyes and I see her smile, it's like there's a subliminal message saying, hey, girlfriend, go vote for me. So I'm turning off all notifications right now so that I will not vote for Tabitha Brown again. So again, congratulations. You got this. Congratulations, Kev, on your NAACP Image Award nomination. It's so, so deserved. It's been great watching you grow over the years. It's been great having a small portion in assisting with that growth. Uh, but one of the things that I love the most about all this is that you, as you've grown, you are so intentional about providing opportunities to those that don't usually get them. And so if someone were to ask me, you know, what is the embodiment of For the Culture? I'd say Kev on stage. And I think that that's pretty, pretty awesome. So once again, congratulations on the Image Award nomination. Keep doing what you're doing and both God and the culture will keep on blessing you. Congrats once again. Hey, Kev. It's Dr. CJ, known to you as Crystal Maria Nicole Jenkins, wanting to congratulate you on the Outstanding Social Media nomination for the NAACP Award. You have been phenomenal in demonstrating hard work, uh, dedication to your craft, doing it with a spirit of excellence. And we also recognize that within that greatness and your ability to deliver all of that to us, beside every great man, is an amazing, great woman. And so, Melissa, I honor you as your sister as well. Um, kudos to both of you for everything that you have done. Thank you for bringing laughter and joy into our homes, into our lives. And I couldn't see anyone who deserves this award more than you. So I'm definitely rooting for you, Kev. Congratulations. God bless you. Nephew, just wanted to take the opportunity to tell you how proud I am of you and hopefully that um, this finds you well. Hopefully everything goes well. I um, want you to know that I love you much, proud of you, proud for you, and looking for you to go on and get that thing, hear me? Uh, that's what it's all about. Pump that name, we love you. God bless you, God keep you. We'll see you at the conference. Oh, hey, Kev, producer Stewart here. Congratulations on your NAACP award nomination. We are so proud of you. We being me, plus everyone on Algor's internet who you entertain on a daily basis, keep up the good work and keep setting a great example for us black content creators. Love ya. Kevin Fredericks, congratulations on your very first NAACP Image Award nomination. I'm so very excited for you. I'm so very happy for you. However, I am not surprised because this is what happens and this is what it looks like when you trust God, when you know your purpose, when you walk in your purpose, and when you don't compromise who you are. I remember when Cheryl connected us uh, back in 2013, I believe, when you all first got to LA, we had been there for about a month or so, and um, it was just an instant connection with the Fredericks family. Thank you for all the opportunities that you gave Jameson. Um, I think about from the sketches to where you are now, uh, from the townhouse in Reseda to where you are now, um, from the Honda Court to Maserati Kale, um, I just celebrate this accomplishment and this nomination with you. Congratulations, my friend. If it isn't the NAACP Image Award nominated, Mr. Kevin Fredericks. God bless you, brother. This is Mr. Christian Telesmar Jenkins. I just want to wish you congratulations on your nomination. Ah, God is doing, woo, God is doing a blessing on you. Yes, he is. I remember back in 2010, 2010, at the Showwear Center, when you, oh, look, I'm about to cross the street, and I don't want to get hit. I got to look both ways, because I need to get to the other side, <laughs> like you did. <laughs> and catch my blessing over here. But I want to let you know, I remember back in 2010 at the Showwear Center when you had your play Till Death Do Was Part. I remember watching that show and was like, God is doing a new thing in him. I, I'm going to post a tweet right here. I'm going to try to post, put a tweet, tweet so you can see. I tweeted about it over 10 years ago. 
you was doing amazing things. And I want to thank you for continuing to do your amazing things, brother, because you're inspiring me, inspiring all of us from back in the Northwest. I'm out here in L.A. with you. I'm out here in the uh, upper west side of the valley, as you can say. <laughs> I know I'm trying. I'm trying. But I just want to thank you for uh, keep going, for, for doing all the great things you're doing. Uh, keep inspiring everyone. Uh, I watch you every day, seeing your posts. Uh, and I just want to say thank you for being an inspiration and congratulations. God bless you, brother. Hey, Kev. It is Chloe Kenny here, a.k.a. Cousin Chloe. I just wanted to stop in and tell you congratulations on being nominated for the NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Social Media Personality. You are definitely an outstanding social media personality, an outstanding businessman, among all the other things that you do. So continue to keep doing those great works. Looking forward to seeing all the great things that are going to happen for you and from you in the upcoming years. Remember, keep doing all the things. Hey, Kev. Hey, Kev. Congratulations. We see you, boy. We out here getting awards. You feel me? What Nova said? Okay. We just wanted to say congratulations, and we're so proud of you. Yes. <laughs> congratulations, Kevin, on your nomination for the NAACP Award. It is well-deserved. Hey, Kev. It's your girl, Goody Howard. And you know I had to swing through and say congratulations, man. You are killing it okay with the app and the keep your distance comedy series like you are an inspiration to us all and i am so excited to just watch you get all these flowers right man so proud congratulations and be good or be good at it <laughs> kevin congratulations my brother on your naacp nomination that is such a big honor man and we just want to tell you how proud we are of you man and keep doing what you're doing and we love you brother congratulations kevin we love you my mama calls me on tv some shit don't change since we was on i dream it all Woo! Yes, yes. What is up, Kevin Fredericks? Kev on stage. It is your boy Maynard and Nicole O'Connor, and we are wishing you congratulations Yay! on your NAACP nomination. Yes, we see all the hard work you're putting in, and you definitely deserve it. Yes, we are way overdue on reconnecting. U Dub days to LA days, we have all come a long way. We hope to connect with both of you after this pandemic is over. But until then, congratulations and much success. You are going to win this NAACP award. My boy, let's go. <laughs> We just want to say congratulations on your nomination to the NAACP. I know you're going to win. You got this. I'm so proud of you. We're extremely proud of you. Everything that you've done, everything that you've accomplished, keep moving forward. Yes. You got this. Love you. Love you. Congratulations. congratulations. <laughs> hey, Kev. Hey, Kev. Congratulations. We see you. Boy, we out here getting awards, you feel me? What Nova said? Okay. We just want to say congratulations and we're so proud of you. Yes. <laughs> Yo, Kevin Fredericks. Congratulations. Congratulations, NAACP Image Award nominee. This has to go in every single intro, whenever somebody brings you up on the stage. Absolutely. Whenever you go onto your own stage, <laughs> whenever you're, you're appearing anywhere, it's NAACP Image Award. We're so proud of nominee. you. Nominee, we're proud of you, man. Congratulations. It's been amazing to see you grow and, and see what you've done with yes. your circle yeah. and your family yes. and your network. It's incredible. And and what you've done with your good friend, Anita Baker. God bless you, bro. We're so we proud of you. love you, bro. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations on your nomination, Kevin. We love you. <laughs> Kevin Fredericks. Kevin on stage. He 
He not he not gonna say nothing. Congratulations on your Image Award nomination. Congrats, homie. That's all you got. Should we talk about how bad his dad jokes are? I like the dad jokes. I like him. <laughs> Congrats, Kev. I want Kev to win the NAACP award. Now, come tell Kev you want him to win the NAACP award. This is from uh, Toby Fat and, and Nell. We want Kev to win. Hi, my name is Nell, and yes. I want Kev to win. Yes, but if Kev cannot win, then I also want Tabitha Brown to win. So send this because that's my business. Because yeah, that's my business. I can, <laughs> I, can, I, can business. I can go for both of y'all. We can go for both of y'all. You know that's saying? our business. Absolutely. Yep. yep. So we love y'all. Hi, Kevin. It's your mother-in-law. I just want to congratulate you on your nomination to the NAACP Awards. I pray that you win. You so deserve this, and I want you to know that I am so very proud of you. God bless you, and I pray that you win. Yay! When one wins, we all win. Andre Dottie from Oklahoma City wanted to celebrate this accomplishment with you. This is a major win, not just for you and your family, but for the team, the stage crew, and everyone. May this moment be another step towards your dreams as you take this moment to enjoy the part of this journey. Life is too beautiful to miss special moments like this, and you deserve it, man. Always keep driving towards your dream, and congratulations on the nominations and this level up season you are clearly in. Congratulations, man. Hey, it's Geneva. Just wanted to tell you, Kev, congratulations on your NAACP nomination. It's so amazing. So excited and proud of you and can't wait to see where God takes you next, man. It's really cool. Good luck, Kev, on, on the, the NAACP Awards. We love you. Congratulations, congratulations on your nomination. Woo Go, Kev! Woo 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 woo! What up, Maserati Kev, NAACP Image Award nominated Kev. I mean, you just got mad titles, fam. And I'm here for it. Hold on. I'm here for, <clears throat> I'm here. I, I gotta find it. I lost it. Hold on. I'm here for it. There it is. I am here for it. You are out here blazing trails, killing the game, taking names. And I am so excited that all of your hard work, God's favor, God's purpose on your life is being magnified to the masses. You heard what I said, magnified to les masses. Um, so this is the first of many nominations and wins. I said what I said. You can at me, ask about me, or you can just start clapping right now. Matter of fact, let me just, let me start the clap. <laughs> hey, that's my homie, I know him. <laughs> that's how I feel about your nomination and wins. I'm glad we're on the same page. I'm glad we had this little chat. But I'm just here to say, no matter what happens, you always the winner. Because you a genius. You smart. You That was my best DJ Khaled. I, I was going. Should I keep going? I'm going to keep going. Uh, you a genius. You smart. You funny. You wise. You blessed. Bless up. There's always a bless up. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say I'm proud of you. I listen, man. The dude who left everything, I from cartoon scandal to, you know, the all dev digital. I was about to say the 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 media company that was, but you know, we can say the name all dev digital to where you are now to Maserati care. Vroom vroom. Brr. That's how I feel every time we get in our cars. That's how it sounds like the engine. So you deserve every good thing coming your way because the best is still yet to come, fam. Whatever you think you're going through right now, uh, watch God supersize it like a Big Mac. Okay? Like an extra value meal. <laughs> That's the lean. That's the lean. Anyway, I'm going to let you have your moment. Enjoy every second of it because we're going to be popping more bottles. Water bottles, champagne bottles, whatever y'all are into. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Congratulations, friend. Love you, love you, love you, love you. And Melissa, you a real one, okay? You's a real one. Hi, Kevin. Congratulations on your nomination. I just wanted to say that every day it is so inspirational just to see your commitment to your craft and your work ethic. It is amazing just to be a part of the journey. NAACP nominated Kev sounds great on you. I'm hoping that you enjoy this moment with the people that you love the most. Whether you win or not, always remember, you are the head, not the tail, above, never beneath. Congratulations, Uncle Kevin. You're the best no matter what. Hi, 
Hi, Kev. Congratulations on your NAACP Awards nomination. I hope you win. I'm voting for you almost every day. The other days I just forget. So sorry. Uh, Emmys are next. Congratulations. Hi, congratulations, Kev. From just Kev on stage to Maserati Kev to now NCAAP Image Award nominee. Congratulations, sir. You of course have de deserve this. You've been working super hard to make people laugh and to build your empire over, oh, what, 10 plus years. And of course, this is an amazing accomplishment and it is the first of many more to come. Congratulations. From Marcia Garnett, one of your Discord mods. Yes, you see, brother, the thing about it is it's not just any award. It's an NAAC and P award. And we just want to celebrate you. Thank you. What did you do? Oh, funny video. Oh, okay. Well, hey, congratulations. Hey, Kev, this is KB. Just stepping away from the press's desk real quick just to send you a congratulations on your NAACP nomination. When you win this award, I want you to step on the stage, your virtual stage, if that's going to be it, with your dress, and you step on that stage shaking your dress like you walk in the club shaking your dress. All right, congratulations. Kev, NAACP social media award star nominee. Okay, sir, you deserve, you deserve that and more and so many great things. Every single day you show up, you make us laugh, you're consistent, you are walking in your purpose and it is so inspiring to see and I am always rooting for you and whether or not you win, we already know you won because you will star and Will Smith knows you, okay? Who gonna check you? Nobody. So proud of you always, honored to call you friend and I am so excited for all the greatness that is waiting for you. 